What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth Collins. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you haven't seen part three of the CBR rebuild, I'll put the link in the description below. In this video, I'm gonna install the handlebars and the top yoke that I sprayed in the last video, as well as all the accessories that go with it. And if there's enough time, I'll install this new set of wheels. So without further ado, let's get to work.
All right guys, so the handlebars and the top yoke is in and you can see that the paint matches perfectly that I sprayed in the previous video. I also installed some of the accessories but I haven't tightened everything down just yet because I still want to set it so that it's comfortable to ride with. But now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and install these shorty levers and these sick grips. Alright guys, this is actually starting to look really good. I actually like the orange, the way it's matching or blending in with the black. But because I sprayed hairspray on the grips, I need to let that dry for the next 24 hours. So while it's busy doing that, I want to install these new wheels. But before I do that, I want to swap out these discs with those because I personally think that these discs are just going to look a lot better with the fairing set that I want to get. So let's get to work.
All right guys, so the CBR is really starting to come together. So in the next video, I wanna go ahead and install this S-Bend link pipe and this Yoshimura R77 exhaust that is second hand, but it is still in good condition. And then I wanna give the bike a good full service, change the plugs, the oil, the air filter, and oil filters and all that good stuff. And that's gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. If you're wondering about future builds, don't worry, I have a lot of new and better builds on the way. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss out on future videos. Also guys, make sure to follow me on Instagram so that you can get an inside scoop before YouTube. Until next time, peace out.